Hi guys, it's Danny from the Scrap Effects Design Team for July 2021. Today I've got a little project using some tags and I'm going to make some gift cards out of them. Something a little different. So here I've got the circular stencil from Scrap FX and I'm just tracing out some circle shapes onto some watercolour cardstock. Um, I've been heavily influenced with all the fodder challenges that have been happening at the moment and um, just seeing lots of people doing some amazing stuff making little elements that they can stick to their art journal pages and to their mixed media work so this is one that I've seen um, quite often um, just little watercolor circles basically that um, are cut out and made into collage butter so I thought I would try a few of these to add to my project today so I'm just using watercolor paints and picking a few similar colors to the designs that I'm going to use I've got Michelle Logan's luminous ladies as my um, focal point and so I've picked some colors from those and I'm just using the watercolors and basically making those little circles that you're seeing so these are the three tags these are just um, tags from my stash and I'm collaging old book paper to them. This is just some brown paper from some packaging and some music sheets and I'm going to use the latest release uh, loopy script I think this is. That's a rice paper from Scrap FX and these are just little scraps of gel prints left over from in my stash as well so just adding pops of colour and again I'm just um, taking hints of colours from Michelle Logan's collage Luminous Ladies and um, just using those pops of colours to um, include into the, the actual tags. So here I'm using a few of the scrap effects stencils, this one is Circular Shore, this one's Ripples and the first one I used was the Chicken Wire or honeycomb patchwork I think it is actually. Um, I'm using the chicken wire stamp set, um, collage dots and obviously my favourite seaweed. And this is number crunch. So just popping a little bit of colour and background onto those tags. I'm just edging that around now with a little bit of blue paint and of course a little bit of fluoro splatter. Back to those collage circles, the little watercolour circles, I'm just fussy cutting those out and haven't they dried up really nicely. So this is Michelle Logan's um, Luminous Lovelies, the collage papers and I'm just fussy cutting those out. I'm going to use all three ladies from that one sheet and I'm just edging that with some black ink so that I'm just, um, I don't have that white cut edge. This stamp set is also um, Scrap FX, it's a um, fern frond, fern leaf I'm sorry, and these ones are the fronds. So that comes in small, medium and large and I'm just stamping them out with archival ink onto book paper. And again this is sort of heavily influenced from um, the collage fodder that I've been seeing all over on Instagram. So I'm just assembling my ladies onto the tags, just sort of working out what I need. Um, just sort of placing them on top and auditioning them on the tags before I glue them down. So once I'm happy with the way I've arranged them, I'm just going to glue them down with my fine line glue there. Now the idea of these tags actually came from my a good friend of mine, um, Jennifer Cooper from Crafters Cupboard, she always sends me beautiful cards for my birthday and then usually a tag card and so this is sort of my little spin of her designs. So just gluing down those fern fonds and the fonds and um, now I'm just cutting out the sayings from that collage sheet as well from Michelle Logan's collage sheet. Use a little bit of fluoro cotton just to get a little bit more extra elements and a bit of texture to the tag and just pulling that thread off and 
gluing that down with some matte medium, which will dry nice and clear. Just drying those off, just being careful not to melt the thread because obviously it's nylon. And I'm just thinking my little quotes. And I've used the similar colours to my circles, just so it's got a pop of colour similar to what's up, up halfway up the tag and then I've got the blue sort of on the, the edging and the orange and the pink as well. So just incorporating those colours throughout the whole tag. And again just gluing them into position. So these would be great just to stick into your art journal as they are. But we're going to now turn these into gift cards. So this is um, an easel stand which is, I'm not sure that it's actually available anymore but I've had this for a long time in my stash and I've just die cut three easels out so I'm just folding them on their little score lines and pushing out the little easel part and I'm using a tag here to trace out and I'm just going to use some brown cardstock um, to cover my mechanics on the back side of the card and also have an area that I can write my greeting on the back. So just really tidying up the back of the cards. And I'm going to glue that down onto each card. And that would just give me a nice surface to glue the easel onto and also be able to write to whoever I may send these cards to. any excess there. Careful not to cut off any of the overlapping elements that are hanging off the tag. And now I'm just placing the easel on the back so I'm just going to glue that down as well. Simply like that, that's how you get a little greeting card from a tag. How cute are these? Such a quick and easy little craft project to do, especially during our lockdown here in Melbourne. And they're so bright and colourful. So I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you enjoyed it. And I'd love to see what you do with these. So Make sure you get onto the Scrap FX Facebook page and show us your little versions of these card tags. Thanks so much for watching.